seen and you step and here step and this and that and, and you're gonna be here very soon as you see right now she cannot reach not even to her access we know one blood on the floor right we have to clean it later on but you don't want to be here she's gonna kick you right boom right so now if she has to walk here right that's gonna happen yeah most of the time not always but most of the time we walk forward like we walk backwards the leaders not not most of the time they have a little bit uh, different approach because they have to project that energy for us to move right but for us because we know by uh, the information that he gave us that we're gonna be walking forward essentially we have that time to uh, project the leg forward and then kind of walk on it the same way as we're going backwards we check if the floor is there and then we go so stop here. micromanaging her yeah so like you told her already to do the boleo and now you have a free time right to do your things yes. from the previous lead she has this pendular action right so she has this pendular action so the leg extends now the thing is not to pull her uh, quickly enough or for the follower is not to do it on purpose to kind of uh, plank here on that leg you have yes? to accompany her with the shape to the ground, like a one ramp. We are not looking for in the moment to do, do that and that, right? We are not looking for that. Could be. But this is a, it's a different action. So as you're walking, I need to you reconfirm to her that she's walking at front there. So you're gonna feel this moment. She's coming into the ground, right? So coming to the ground. I follow her into her side step. But you need to calculate leading anticipation for you. As you leading the action, you already know you're gonna be with it. My resistant point is at front, right? At front. So we here we have a one linear action accounting position with her. So she's coming at front. I bring the leg into me and a little bit of that resistant. I am not going the same direction because we're gonna we're gonna fall. Mine can be that. Yeah, this is there. So if I'm here, she does the same. Forward absorbing. Again, forward absorbing pivoting and we need to know right now that the kick is gonna happen yes so when we pivot already the, the leg uh, transits into the kick Put four basket one two three four baskets there and got the ball and for where you are with the torsion of your body decide where you want to put the ball I can take this movement there to say we say we have to resist I want to see my pendulo opposite, do the metronome. Tick, tock, tock, tock. She's there, she's kicking, yeah, there. If I let her go and I go with her there, I, I use the same pendulum. Somebody says that in tango everything is logical and based on the mechanics of the movement. It is true, but some movements, even though like you feel like maybe that's what it's supposed to be, you feel like that's you, ne you never saw that done or you never did it before, so you, you, you just don't see, that, see this as a possibility, right? So we sometimes joke that now we give you the authorization, right? So you can do the movement. So same here, yeah, because imagine, just um, uh, last week we were talking about when the, when the hips are square, yes, you are not allowed to kick forward, right? Well, here you're not kicking forward with your knee up, but you are kicking forward. So immediately, like you're feeling the kick and, you know, you're coming to uh, execute that kick and you see this ball in front of you and you're like, No, that's not possible! <laughs> So that's the moment where you need that authorization that yes, you can kick there. If uh, if the ball is coming to me, right, I can kick the ball up. Because so that is no longer a pendulum, it is an action, right? So 
this movement go poops up to the ceiling, right? For you guys here, you cannot leave this pendulum here. If you leave this up, her leg is gonna go up like that. If you are here, she's gonna hit you right there. Because I don't do this to her leg, I do that to her leg. In the future, for endings, yeah, everybody loves endings. Mind those uh, people say, oh, the music ended. There you have a movement higher, yeah, higher and not pendula, yeah. This is higher, this is pendula, yeah. And a different sensation to be a pendular area or elevation. So it's one, two, because so it's very circular. And in the last moment you cut the, 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 the rest of the movement or the side step is supposed to be. And you make it up as a, as a kick. So she, you, if I don't go there, she will go here. Sam said, you can even do the whole movement without kicking. You can have the whole sensation without kicking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have each other direction. Eight, and one, two. Now we go turning to the right, standing for the back cross for her. Back, side, forward, we block. This one is very much sense I can make a runa fall. As she's going forward, I'm gonna change my weight completely to the side to go against the line of dancing. Because now I force my rebound to go back in the line of dancing again. So again, one, two, three, she kick, we walk, alteration, back. We turn the turn, hero to the left. One and two. That is the block, right? She's going already opposite of her. She's going back, I'm going forward, inside the movement. She's continue going one step by herself, ocho again in opposition, block. When she's going again to the line of dancing, the forward cross, I'm going in the line of dancing to be again to the line of dancing. So do nice rebound, 